I'm Alan Johnson, KU2Y, and this is the CubeSat Sim Ground Station video. So I'm going to show you how to create a simple ground station here using a uh, Raspberry Pi single board computer. Now there's other, other ways you can do uh, ground stations, and really the minimum to do a ground station is you need, uh, you need a, an SDR, a software defined radio, such as this RTL SDR dongle, and, uh, and a little antenna for it. And you can plug this into pretty much any computer and install Fox Telem and other software on it. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll make some videos on doing that uh, another time. But for now, I'm going to show how you can take a Raspberry Pi, such as this Raspberry Pi 4, and using the uh, Fox in a Box um, uh, micro SD card image, so basically this, this uh, uh, 16 gigabyte micro SD card already has all the the ground station software and all the configurations on it, and you don't have to install anything. So it's it's really very simple to use. So we're going to put it together here. Uh, I'm going to plug the uh, the micro SD card in, and I'm going to plug the uh, the SDR in, and now I'm just going to connect the uh, USB C power, and as you see the uh, red power LED illuminates and the green activity illuminates uh, starts blinking indicating that things are happening. Okay, now my uh, my Pi here is already on my Wi Fi network, so that way I can access it and share my screen here and show it to you. Um, you can also put your your Pi onto your Wi Fi network. Also, you can plug in an Ethernet cable here, so you can if, you, if it's near your router, you can just plug it directly in. And that way you can access it remotely. You can also connect a uh, HDMI monitor and also a, uh, a, a USB keyboard and a USB mouse and just operate it um, that way as well. Okay, so I'm going to connect using a, a free piece of software called VNC Viewer. So VNC is a remote access. Uh, so the host name is, uh, if you haven't changed it, is Fox in a Box V3. So I'm just going to uh, connect to it here. All right, I have connected to it, but I need to change my sharing so that uh, so that you can see it. There we go. So so this is the screen. This is what I would see if I plugged in an HDMI monitor. Uh, so this is the Fox in the Box version three image, and um, and it has Fox Telem uh, in it. Now I'm going to I'm going to run Fox Telem just by double clicking on it. I could also uh, run it from the from the Raspberry uh, menu here. So I double click on it here. Now, if this is the first time that you've run your your uh, run Fox Telem on your Fox in a Box image, it's going to ask you to set the profile. There's two profiles. One is either the Fox in the Box profile, which if you're going to use um, Fox Telem to get telemetry from on orbit uh, AMSAT CubeSats from our various CubeSats that are that uh, that, that that we use. Uh, that is the profile you select, or you can select the CubeSat SIM profile. Uh, you can actually do both both of them on the same profile, but we we generally don't recommend it. Um, so I'm going to select the CubeSat SIM. I can either double click on it or click OK. So now that's been set. Next time I run Fox Telem, it's just going to automatically select that profile. That was just a one off. Also, each time I boot this um, this Raspberry Pi, it will now boot starting um, starting and and run Fox to win. Okay, so I'm going to power up my uh, my um, Raspberry Pi that has the CubeSat SIM software on it, and uh, initially I'm just going to do the uh, do the, uh, the the bare Raspberry Pi, so it's not plugged into into any boards. Now I have my uh, my radio turned on, so so we'll hear we'll hear the transmissions. Here in Fox Telem, it's selected the RTL SDR, and you see the button says stop. If it if it wasn't going, then uh, it would the button would say start, and you need to click on it. This red here shows the spectrum, shows the the signals, and once there's a transmission here, we'll see it. Uh, now it's going to start with a C, with a CWID with with Morse code, and we'll hear it on the radio, and we'll see it here hopefully in a minute. 
now, right now, it's not decoding any data, so the eye diagram is just noise, and the signal here uh, is. So you see the signal here, uh, and you and you heard it. Um, now, because there's because this is just the the Pi Zero with the CubeSat Sim software uh, on it. Uh, that's all it does. It only transmits the CWID and it stops. And that's because there's no filter on the, uh, on the uh, clock pin that we're using to do the transmit. Um, so it, it transmits the CWID just so you know it's working, but it doesn't keep transmitting because it's full of harmonics and, and, and all that. Uh, so I'm going to now plug in another one that I have, um, which is this, this Raspberry Pi Zero is plugged into the main board and the main board has been populated uh, up until um, basically the first step of the main board so it has the low pass filter and everything but it doesn't have all the all the current and voltage monitors it doesn't have the boost converter it doesn't have the battery charger but it does have the low pass filter so it will continue to transmit so now in a minute again we'll we'll hear the cwid but then we will hear it uh, continuing to, to transmit. Now, once it starts and it starts uh, and it locks on and starts decoding the data, we'll be able to go here in the, uh, we'll, we click on the spacecraft here for CubeSat Sim FSK. And you see right now all the data is zero. Uh, so it hasn't received any, any data. Also, if we look down the bottom here, it says, the frames and the payload counts are okay. So that was the CWID, but now it should continue after uh, after a few seconds. There it goes. So you hear that hear that rumbling sound? Um, that is the uh, that is the FSK DUV transmissions frequency shift keying data under voice. And, uh, and you can see the signal here, and it's, it's, it's uh, Fox Telem has locked into it. The eye diagram, see how it's now, um, it's called an open eye because it looks like an eye. And you see it's showing um, 8 dB of signal to noise ratio, so that's good. And here the signal, this looks like a digital signal. It looks like it's ones and zeros. It's, it's no longer random. And if you look down the bottom here, you see that the frame count is up to seven, so uh, an eight. So it's actually decoding frames. So that's good. So now, if I click on the FSK, now you see that the zeros have been replaced with, uh, with, with values here. And you see it says telemetry payloads decoded six. And it, and it updates about every, about every four seconds. It sends a new one. So you see that count increasing. Now, this data here, uh, if you notice here, it says under computer hardware, it says I2C bus three fail, and it says simulated telemetry on here. So this is actually simulated data. Uh, just gonna turn that down. Um, because, my, because I haven't built the whole, um, the whole main board yet, um, and also I don't have solar panels plugged in or anything like that, there's no battery plugged in. So this is all simulated data. It's, it's not real. Um, but you can still have a lot of fun with it because it, the, the, the data varies like, like real data. Um, but there is no battery with a 4.1 volt and uh, drawing a current. Actually, in this case, the current is negative, indicating it's charging. Um, so the solar panels are, are supplying power. OK, so that is, that is working. Now, I'll just show you one other mode here. So this is the FSK DUV, frequency shift keying data under voice. I'm going to use the push button on my CubeSat SIM here, and I'm going to change the mode. That was mode three. Now I've switched to, uh, sorry, that was mode two. Now I've just switched to mode three. So in a minute, this should stop. Yep, you hear it, you hear it stopped. And in about 30 seconds, it'll restart in a, in a different mode. And the new, that new mode is, is BPSK, which stands for uh, binary phase shift keying. And, uh, and to do that one, I'm going to have to say stop. And then I'll click here where it says BPSK and then start. And then that will decode it in the other mode. 
So this is the this is the mode. Here we go. CWID again. Now it's going to take it about about thirty seconds to to get going here. Initially, it just starts off with a, with a carrier. And also notice down here it says faded CubeSat sim. Uh, so I'm just going to click here just to get it scanning again. There we go. Okay, so you so you hear that sound? That's quite a quite a different sound, kind of like a an annoying buzzing sound. So that is the sound of uh, of phase shift keying. And you see it's not decoding here, right? This eye diagram is closed. This signal here, and that's because I'm in the wrong mode. So I hit stop here, and now I click here, BPSK, Fox Husky, and start. And now, uh, now it's actually locking in. It's having a little bit of trouble here. Hopefully it will lock in. There we go, now it locked in. So now you see the eye diagram is open, uh, 11 dB of signal to noise ratio. You see the digital signal here looks like ones and zeros. And there's also this new phaser diagram, which should be two, two dots, basically for a one and a zero. So that's now decoding. And if you look, the frame count will be increasing. Again, it increases about every four seconds. And so now, if I go under the CubeSat Sim BPSK here, now we see data here. And again, it's simulated data. It's not real. It says simulated telemetry is, is on. OK. So, so that is that is it. I'll just show you one other mode. Um, if I change the the uh, CubeSat Sim to mode one, which is uh, which is APRS, I can then use uh, use my Web SDR to to decode that. So, uh, in a minute here, we should hear hear that signal. And again, it'll start off with the CWID, and then we'll hear um, APRS packets. So this is a web SDR. So we're looking at the, uh, at the actual, uh, spectrum here. So once it starts transmitting, okay. So that's the CWID. And now we should, we should see in here, uh, APRS packets. Hopefully. There we go. So that was a packet. Now to decode it, I can click on it here. And now that's uh, basically set the automatic packet decoding. And you can see each time one of those packets is received, it's decoded here. The call sign and then high high and then the, the telemetry in AO7 format. Okay. All right, so, uh, so we've seen uh, how we can use a Raspberry Pi and the Fox in a Box image to very quickly set up a ground station for the CubeSat simulator and, uh, and verify that we are transmitting.